We had no idea that stuff like this existed in Georgia. This is wild. <laughs> Last time you saw us, we were freezing our butts off in Nashville, Tennessee, <laughs> and at the end of our Nashville vlog, we said that we weren't sure where we were heading to next, uh, so surprise, we're in northern Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and to be 100% honest, we had no idea how many trails and outdoor activities there were in yeah. Georgia. The Appalachian Trail starts here, there are tons of waterfalls, so today we're going to be exploring some nature in a cute looking mountain town nearby. We had a really hard time deciding what to do today because there are just so many options in this area, but we finally settled on Tallulah Gorge State Park, which is this two mile long gorge and a thousand feet deep. We are going to hike the Hurricane Falls Trail, which is a two mile loop trail, and apparently it's over a thousand <laughs> steps like down and back up, so a little, <laughs> little bit of workout for us. Oh, oh wow. wow. maybe two minutes from where we started and we saw this overlook number three and I didn't know what to expect from it but wow we're already starting off with a lot of beauty. Me in these woods I'm free inside and I don't want to see light. So only if you have that permit you can go past this point and you have to be in person to get the permit So basically you would just show up a little bit or maybe a lot before they actually open to wait in line to get the permit And I according to their Facebook page, which, which is where they keep updates on when or if they're giving out permits They have not been giving out the permits for a while now And I think I know why because I think you walk on these rocks or walk across the river That's the access you get but there's a lot of water right now and that would not be safe at all. But I think in the summer it's probably a more likely bet. So coming in the summer, check that out because it will be really fun to walk across these. We're on our way back up. Legs are burning. Oh. All these stairs. I think we just went up over 600 steps. And I don't think the last time we actually hiked was since our Enchantments backpacking trip in like September. So we're really out of hiking shape. Oh man, that was hard. Despite all of our complaining about the stairs and how hard it is, it feels so good Heck yeah. to be back out in nature and a more mountainous area. We really miss living in Washington. We're having so much fun on the road, yeah. but we really miss hiking all the time in Washington. So we were really excited for this weekend to get a dose of nature. Yeah, I mean, we've been in a lot of cities and hanging out in libraries and stuff like that <laughs> that we normally do when we're working. So it's nice to get out, get some fresh air, yeah, fresh get air. some sun on us. And, <laughs> and we're not really here the best time of year. It yeah. is the winter. It's late January and all the most trees the are dead. Yeah, most of the trees are dead. It's definitely not the most scenic time to be in nature or at least you know in this part of the u.s where there's not a ton of evergreen trees but it's still beautiful yeah we and, just wanted to get out yeah and i bet it's even more beautiful in the summer and the oh, fall yeah. oh, so yeah. oh, this has been really nice even yeah. though it's hard <laughs> We 
we made it into Anna Ruby Falls. It's cash only, it's $3 a person and they give you a cool little sticker. <laughs> it's super cute. <laughs> We're really lucky that we had some laundromat money left over because we only had a $5 bill and yeah. then we just dug through our laundry money and we got a dollar and quarters. <laughs> so we're very lucky that we have to go to laundromats. Yeah. But it's a really easy hike to get there. It's only 0.8 miles round trip and it's paved the entire way. But from the photos we've seen, it looks really beautiful. you can see behind me but we're walking up to the waterfall and oh my gosh it is way bigger than I thought it would be we almost didn't come here but so far just from this glimpse I'm really glad we did we had no idea that stuff like this existed in Georgia this is wild <laughs> So the whole reason this little day trip's even happening today is I was Googling unique things to do in Georgia, just trying to figure out our plans, and I came across the town of Helen. And just like one of our favorite towns in Washington, Leavenworth, it's a Bavarian-themed town. So in 1968, the town leadership got together and decided they wanted to revitalize the town. So they decided to recreate it as a Bavarian village town. And I guess the revitalization worked because apparently this is the third most visited city in Georgia after Atlanta and Savannah. Just like Leavenworth, this town is absolutely precious. We're having just so much fun just walking around and seeing all the buildings. We haven't even really gone into anything. We just <laughs> like looking at it all. Yeah. And we hear they have a really crazy Oktoberfest. It's normally like six or seven weeks, but this year, since it's their 50th anniversary, it's nine weeks. <laughs> so if you want to come experience this yeah. place, probably at its best, yeah. come to Oktoberfest. <laughs> kept walking by this one area and getting this whiff of something magical and we finally were like it's either cookies or chocolate so we looked in the window and saw them making fudge and it was like a boiling thing of yeah. chocolate so we went in and got some and it's a brick <laughs> oh, look how big this is ah, it was it was eight dollars for a slice and this is seriously like a huge piece of brick of fudge and we got the chocolate peanut butter yeah. and they had samples out so we've already kind of tried it but we love this flavor anyways, but it's one of their most popular ones, they said. So. Oh my goodness, it just like felt, mm. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> it so good, it's like a Reese's. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll be um, working on this for a while. <laughs> So the cuteness of this town was enough to get us to come here by itself. But then we discovered they have something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time. We're going on an alpine coaster. I'm so excited. <laughs> going to Disney got us really hooked on roller coasters again. So as soon as we saw that they had this here, we just knew we had to do it. So the extra fun thing about alpine coasters is that you control the brake. So if we crash, it's our own fault. <laughs> we're, very, we're very cozy in here. <laughs> Good thing he likes me. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm the one in control, so. Yeah, Adam's controlling the brake, so it's all on him. This is awesome. One big we haven't even done anything yet. We're going up a hill. <laughs> one big bonus is there was no line. Yeah, perks of coming here in the winter. Yeah. Beats the heck out of Disney. <laughs> First, you're last. <laughs>
fun. Uh, we loved it so much yeah. that we're going again. It's half off. Yeah, the good thing is it's half off the second time you go. Hey, we're, we're just gonna keep going. Okay, we're only doing it one more time, but oh my gosh, that I was- I do it all day. Oh, that was so much fun. That might've been more fun than a real roller coaster. Maybe I don't know. To control it You're going bit. fast. Round two. <laughs> yeah, this is like Space Mountain, but in the daylight, so you actually get to see what's mountains. happening. In the mountains, actually in the mountains, not in space, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Just as fun the second time. <laughs> that was seriously the best $45 we've ever spent, which is a lot of money, but it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, I wish they sold like a weekend pass or all day pass because I would just go on. Like, oh my all gosh. Day long. That was so much fun. <laughs> so, this is actually the only alpine coaster in Georgia. This is called Georgia Mountain Coaster. So, if you're in Helen or near Helen, you gotta come you check it out. <laughs> And if you do come into it, make sure you do it twice because the first time you get to feel how it is and then the second time you can just release the brake and just go full speed the whole way. <laughs> we have a fudging update for you. <laughs> that brick of fudge that we bought is just a little nub now. Riding the roller coaster, we worked up a little bit of an appetite for some fudge. We can't stop eating it. It is so, so addicting. <laughs> So what's made today extra special and fun for us is that we're getting to explore a place that a week ago even we had never even heard of or we you know was never just in our plan of places to go to. Yeah I mean we sit down uh, when we were in Texas a few weeks ago and kind of made like a rough itinerary of kind of like a the dream places we wanted to go to that we knew we were going to be around and so we had an extra day in between going from Tennessee to Atlanta and we were just looking for something cool to do and found this. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're really excited, even though we, we only have the weekends to explore because we yeah. work during the week. So we're very limited. Like we have two days a week that we can go do fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So we try to be very selective on what we go and do. And we're excited to find more stuff like this. I think, you know, we'll be near more big cities, but we want to go off the beaten path a bit and find these smaller places. Yeah, too. I mean, we have a ton of fun in the small towns. And so it's fun to find stuff that's not on the beaten path. Yeah. Stuff that's a little bit different and yeah. maybe places that you guys had never heard of or yeah. had any thought of going to and maybe now you'll be slightly convinced to yeah. go so we're just gonna hang around here for a little bit more yeah. the sun's going down the buildings are starting to light up so we're yeah. gonna wait and see what the buildings look like at dark with the lights on them and then head on back to the van <laughs>